I'm on 7th Avenue, and so are you. We got a great show from 970 WFLA. Ted Webb is going to be here. Uh, Candy Carmelo is going to be here, the internationally known uh, recording star and entertainer. She's going to be here later on. Uh, Vinny, our sports guy. Uh, you know, every, every bar has a place that uh, well, has a guy who knows everything about sports. Well, we found one here. We'll talk to him about the sporting events, and uh, we'll see how it all goes. I think it'll be great. So um, I'm just, you know, hanging out, you know, catching a breath of fresh air before the show starts. And uh, so um, that's all, I guess. <laughs> Hey, you're at Seventh Avenue. I was outside. Now I'm inside. How did he do it? You know, he just walked, <laughs> just walked inside. Is all I did. It's amazing. It's, it's, out. it's amazing, isn't it? Right, you're on Seventh right. Avenue. I'm Ward Smith. This is Vince. Hey, how you doing, guys? All right. This is number fifty-one. Hey. Right, salute, the number 51. Show number 51. At the Columbia Jam of the Spanish restaurants. Yes, the boys. And you're talking like an Italian about hey, a Spanish well, restaurant. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're Italian, you're Italian. That's right. <laughs> Doesn't make a difference right. where you are. Right? No That's matter. Right, so, what's new? What's new? Price of tea in China. Is that always new? Don't give me that jazz. What's new? Look at this in the paper. Yeah, yeah, I gotta what? show you this. Look at this is St. Pete Times? Well, yes, it is, of course. Okay. Uh, the return, the returns are very happy for the uh, Onassis auction. Remember, we... Oh, God. Look at this, look at this. Sotheby's. Is it Sotheby's? Yes, right. Sotheby's. Sotheby's. Yeah, right. Sotheby's. With an attitude, though. Sotheby's. Yes, Sotheby's. right. Get your nose up a bit. They're ten Sotheby's. That's it. You got it, boy. 10% commission, $3 million. I know. But well, look how much the government gets. Uh, the Kennedys got seven million. The government got the rest. Yeah, the fe fe federal inheritance tax, tax eight point six million. Right. Total increase in federal revenues twenty point three million. Jeez. Net inheritance to the Kennedys was like seven point seven. You know, right. if I was going to make seven million on the deal, I wouldn't have had the option. Exactly, no. man. I would have had them twenty million. Forget it. Forget it, man. Forget it. That's Mary, bad mathematics. Marion Barry's back out of seclusion. God bless him. Oh, Let's man. hope he does well. You know? He won't, man. He needs I to get out of well. office. I wish him well. Talk about a guy who's doing well. Look at the sign. Carrie's brother's plea. Solomon Brown hung a sign he wrote himself in memory of his brother Archie. I saw that. Who was shot to death I January 5th. Yeah. It says, put the gun down. Don't mess up your life. Stop right. the violence. Yeah. During a 30-year career of hanging billboards, Solomon Brown said he'd never thought much about the signs hundreds of people would see as they passed by each day until he hung this one. So, right. way to go, Mr. Brown. Yeah. Look at this. You're all, we're always happy when we see kids doing wonderful things. Kids prove that miracles can happen. Isn't that wonderful? The Turnaround Achievement Awards. These I kids saw that. had bad grades, poor attendance, weren't even showing up. Right. And like 120 days turned around and they're like B-level students. God yeah, but that doesn't match with Casey Gunsmart did. I remember him from Jesuit. Right. Oh, really? Now he owns the joint. What a case he Was do. he a bad student? Because we, no. we can never get a hold of him and talk to him. What did really? he do? Really? Was he a... Well, he wasn't a bad student. He just was never there. <laughs> <laughs> and now he owns the place. Now he owns the joint. I mean, we're here in Casey's house. God bless him. God bless him. He never went to school. Never hey, talking about students in Appleton City, Missouri. Now, their total student body is 175. Do we, that, was, do you that, remember, was, that was my senior class was 175. Do you remember at Leto we had 3,000 students? Yes. That's a small town. Jeff. See, but when I graduated from Jefferson, our band was so small that we couldn't even dot the I. <laughs> I mean, it was small. That's small, man. That's small. Oh, I tell you. But at Appleton hey. City, Missouri, right. what they're doing is they're giving out letters instead of uh, for sports. They're giving it out for academic achievement. Isn't that wonderful? About, about time. And of the 175 in the student body, 109 
receive letters. See, I wouldn't have lettered at that either. <laughs> <laughs> Only A I got was on my draft card. Ah, shame on you, shame on you. A car named after Bon Jovi went on sale yesterday in Japan. I saw that. Talk about living on a prayer. A car named Bon Jovi. <laughs> she whiz. The thing about it is you turn the key and it sounds just as bad as the truth. So. <laughs> Hey, but you know, since Ted was such a bad student, uh -huh. he would have probably enrolled in Sponge Diving 101. Sponge Diving? Well, they're running out of divers, see? Right. So St. Pete Junior College is now going to offer a course in Sponge Diving. Sponge Diving? They need divers. Ted, you would have been great there. See that? I'm not into Bubba. <laughs> You're not into Bubba. <laughs> I don't in like the... to be underwater either. Look at, look at this. <laughs> Tampa native and actor Robert Grant above poses in front of the Good Humor ice cream truck. I saw that. New advertising campaign. Yeah, 20, his name used to be Robert Gonzalez, but he changed it to Grant for professional reasons. Of course. Well, God bless him. Hey, as long as he does well. He's going to start a new series of uh, the Good Humor Man good. commercials. God bless him. Local guy. Getting right a national on. gig. It's good. Yeah. Teddy knows how lucrative that is. Oh, it's incredible. You, you know, there's an no. article in here about the Florida Hotel War. Mm -hmm. In 1948, I was stationed at McDill Air Force Base, and I had a three-day pass. Mm -hmm. So I spent it in the Florida Hotel with a nice little friend of mine. Uh -huh. And that's how's he doing, by the way? She's doing real well. <laughs> You're awful. <laughs> I'm going to get that bow on you, man. Anyway, there was a hurricane that came up while we were there, and that was a nice place to spend a hurricane right. in the Florida Hotel with a nice little friend. Yes. What's your he point? still speaks about that. <laughs> made an impression on his life, I'll be honest with you. But the point is, see, they were going to refurbish the Floridian. Right, yeah. But uh, the deal fell through, but there's another guy coming around who thinks he's going to do the job. I hope so. Because mm -hmm. it was a nice hotel. It used to be a great place to it? Wasn't it? We could go in there and dance. They always had a nice band and everything in there. It was really nice, really nice. Yeah, I enjoyed the place, yeah. So oh, what well. else you got there, partner? Well, I was going to do another part of the joke, but you went ahead and jumped in front of it, but that's okay. That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll forgive you. I don't understand it. It went well in rehearsals. <laughs> that's right. Oh, there is no rehearsal, Ted. You no, think we'd rehearsal? rehearsal? We had a rehearsal? Of course. Of course. Of <laughs> hey, look at this. Sha Shaquille O'Neal, he's dropped the Shaq Attack moniker. Oh. And now he's going to go with Lizard Boy. Yeah, look at him with his tongue sticking yeah, yeah, out there. Lizard there Boy. Is. There he yeah. The Green Iguana. I'll That's down the street. Just Lawrence, a couple of blocks. That's right. <laughs> Lawrence Dossie, he's, out, he's off the bucks and payroll cut. Really? Yeah, they don't have any money, Ward. They, they're oh, broke. I don't believe that. They're the broke. Have no money? I don't they're believe broke, that. They're broke, Vinny. I'm telling you, they're broke. The bucks are broke? The signs are there. In fact, the bank that they owed $47 million to at the end of, uh, of um, March decided to hold off and wait to see what the legislature was going to do. No problem. And, um, you know, there's a lot of speculation that there are some other people in Tampa Bay right now that are perched right now, waiting for these guys to fail to make that payment. Look what they just did. They just sold hula hands. That's right. Just to get some cash flow. When you let go of a guy like Reggie Roby, who last year in his first year as a buck, set a brand new punting record. Right on. Right when you on. let go of a guy like Lawrence Dossie, who's a good situation, uh, wide receiver, a guy that you bring in on third and short, you know, the guy that's yeah. sure-handed. Right. When you let go of these guys and, and you plan on making it with a bunch of rookies, that tells me you don't have the money to pay them. Uh, I hope Joe Chalora is watching out there. You see this fellow, Ted? You need him on your committee. He <laughs> knows what he's talking guy, about, you know? Joe's quite a guy. He was dressed in a gray suit the other day at County Commission. Looked like a, a, a big... Undertaker? No, looked like, like a destroyer. Oh, really? Big guy. <laughs> He was cruising. <laughs> he was. He's, he's in the spam, isn't he? Hey, no, don't talk about spam. Well, I think, I think Lawrence Dossie got let go for the obvious reason. We got the picture there. Dossie, can you throw a picture up of Dossie? Where's Dossie? See, there Where's he is. That? He's doing his picture. His, he, his, he dropped the ball. That's his imitation of Alvin Harper is what he's doing. <laughs> he dropped the ball. See, they're letting him go because it looks like to me, now, Andy, you play football too. He looks like he didn't catch that one, did he? No, that one dropped. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That one fell. <laughs> To let him go. So what do we got tonight, Ward? I just told you. You didn't tonight. tell me. No, you didn't tell well, me. Ted's going to be hanging out with us. Ted's going to be hanging out with us. I know we have one of my favorites, Candy Caramello, that's going to be with us. And right. Candy can rock the house, man. All right. She's going to do that right now, folks. She's going to rock right now. International recording star. All right. And sensation. All right. Candy Caramello. Let's hear it. Come on, Candy. There she is! Yes, sir! What a 
an outfit, huh? What an outfit! All right! Que murmuren, no me importa que murmuren, no me importa lo que digan, ni lo que piensa la gente, que el agua se aclara sola al paso de la corriente. ¡Ale! Everybody say ole! It sounds like a... A big Spanish festival when you say, ¡Ole! ¡Oye! Que murmuren, no me importa que murmuren, que digas que no me quieres, que digas que no te quiero, que me andas engañando, que vienes por mi dinero. Déjate de padecer y de lo que se figure, porque mientras que yo viva, que murmuren, que murmuren. ¡Haya!